So necessary. Because it's so cold. Na 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 na. What are we doing? Just me. Bree's at work today, so I am taking care of a big time project. I don't know how big time it is, but we'll see at the end. We'll evaluate, we'll come back to this. We're back from vacation and it's uh, cold <laughs> uh, and snowy here. And we just had like the best time. So there's a couple things that I need to get done to kind of help ourselves out, and in addition, which might help to sort of recapture the mood. This is all very vague. This is very vague. But, <laughs> if it hasn't already been spoiled in the title, we're gonna figure this out. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So join me as I project my day away. Here we go. Something tells me that's not legit. Nice. Such cute little baby clamps. Success, although, eh, I don't know. I got the clamps that I needed for this project, but I was hoping there would be like some kind of cool fastener. You still wanna know what I'm making. You probably do, but. I was hoping for some kind of like cool like nail or screw or something, but I didn't see anything. Just let inspiration strike sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. Ooh, and apparently I'm in a gas. Should probably take care of that. be using bamboo and burlap and a bunch of random wood we're making a shelf but not just any type of a shelf when we were in Disney we got some pretty cool swag so it's going to show that off a little bit uh, as well as tiki mugs so the idea is to in the middle of the winter create a cool Disney type home thing that will also make us not feel like it's so wintry. I was able to get bamboo from Michael's, but it was about six-ish foot stick for $10. So I couldn't get a lot of it to cover up the whole thing. That's why I got bamboo to kind of give it a rustic feel, but at more of a budget-friendly price. Let's see how this goes. We are dreamers of the screwed up. I forgot that I wanted to attach the shelves via screws on the inside of the burlap first. So I had to take off the burlap and then reattach it once the shelves are Man. Nothing can ever be easy, can it? Seven years now on this boat and we all know where we belong. Just wait. Every dawn 
I am so hungry, and luckily the place next door does burritos. Hmm. Yeah, that hits the spot. I'm also doing the incredibly fun thing of uh, I'm just using screws from work. Just leftover screws that I've taken over time, and it is not the easiest thing to do in the world. <laughs> They're a little big, or they're too small. I'll make this work somehow. See, this is what I'm talking about right there. The screws are too big for the shelves, but, I mean, whatever. I'll make it work somehow. It'll all be fine. Cock and paint, make it what it ain't. So I'm pre-drilling all my holes so that I don't split the boards because I'm using such thin boards. Uh, and then I'm just using small finish head screws. Um, I'm trying to use up all my small ones first, the shortest I can. That way, um, there's no. That way, there's less screw to blow out through the thin board. Although it's not going totally 100% every time, but it's also not going horribly. We are dreamers of the shore when we can't read the sky. We just sail with the wind that we've got. I got a frame. I got a frame. Oh, yeah. wait, what? What in the... So apparently in all my brilliant measuring, I miscalculated my shelves. So now it's going to be a little bit tighter, but I have this little overhang. So to just make my life at least slightly easier, I'm just going to zip it off with a saw while the thing's built and hope this works. Let's see. And what could possibly go wrong when your plans are this detailed? The crisis averted. Made it. Are the cuts perfect? No. Are they getting covered up by stuff? Yes. Here we go. Keep on trucking. Ooh, wait for our home to show on the horizon soon we'll be there. keep misplacing my uh, drill bit and then my uh, bit that uh, I'm using for the screws. So I put one on. In, in reality, if I was being more efficient about this, I'd have two drills running simultaneously, but I'm not. But I keep taking off the drill bit to put on the screw bit and then vice versa. And it takes me longer because I keep losing the other one. It's really not the most efficient way to go about things, ever, but doing what I can. I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn. Did it. Looks pretty fun. Pretty proud of myself. It's not perfect. I learned a couple lessons along the way, but it's definitely fun. Oh, forgot one. <gasps> Whew, 
I was a learning experience to be sure. Yeah, so this was like, I don't know, kind of a way of beating the winter blues and that, you know, having another project to do. But uh, we love things like the Tiki Room and Trader Sam's and we had these new mugs. So the idea was how do I showcase it and, you know, make it look nice. Did I do a great job? Yes. <laughs> Did I do a perfect job? No. But it's, it, it's something that I made and it feels special and it showcases it in a cool way and it has an aesthetic that we really enjoy. Overall, I think the project was a success, even though there are little gaps here and there. Uh, it's still infused with our personalities, which I like. So that was uh, making a shelf for our Disney swag. Now, to get into it, I like the idea of making this little like moment in the home that's personalized, that showcases a part of your personality. We, of course, uh, love Disney and uh, we love merch. So, but I kind of like the idea of doing this. And so I'm gonna turn it into a challenge. I'm gonna call it the Disney Home Decor Design Challenge or the DHDDC. And it's all about just making a nice little personalized moment, however you want in your house. You know, it doesn't have to be a big shelf. It could just be a nice little vignette. We ourselves have our Haunted Mansion dining room and it just means that we put our Haunted Mansion merch in the dining room. So it can be big, it can be small, um, whatever you want, whatever you feel comfortable with. I like the idea of this, this is cool. I hope it. Uh, I hope people come up with some, um, some creative ideas. And for the first person I'm going to challenge on this, I'm going to go for uh, David Williams of Meg and Dave. Check out their uh, channel, uh, link below in the description. Um, they're super fun people, and uh, check it out. They were just on the first episode of the second season of Disney Fairy Tale Weddings on Disney Plus. So check that out because it's super cool, and their channel is super fun. They do Disney stuff and home improvement stuff. It's pretty cool. So check out their channel as well as uh, get ready for uh, the videos we have coming down the pike. We do have our vacation videos coming, so that's going to be pretty fun. Uh, we spent some time in California and we'll showcase off some of the cool things that we did there. Should be pretty fun. All right, I'm going to go uh, not work on a project for at least 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, here goes nothing. Salsa break. Not sponsored.